Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. It is Monday. You know what that means. It's time to pack shapeshifters with the upgrade packs that we get today. I'm super excited to try to pack Ronaldo, Marcelo, Ramos, and probably just pack Arnautovic and Blind, but at least have fun crafting this week. There's a lot of SBCs right now that we can do to get uh, fodder or to get we need fodder to get those SBCs done Lozano that they dropped yesterday the player pick they dropped yesterday there is so much crafting that can be done right now so I'm hoping for really good upgrade player picks today or packs I want to talk about what I would expect to see with those today on Monday and of course just take a look at the rest of the content we've been having other upgrade SBCs released on Mondays through the past couple of weeks last week we had the 85 plus player pick for shapeshifters team one hopefully we have something along those lines today on a Monday as well. We have no other leaks for SBC players unless that changes today. I don't know if we're going to get another one. It feels like they're going to drop the upgrade packs today, drop some sort of other player pick or some sort of gamble SBC. And then I don't know if they're going to give us somehow some way to get another token today as well. But we have to talk about the token situation because they dropped one SBC yesterday. We're still only at four tokens. And we have to get like one to two tokens a day. I feel like EA is already falling behind a little bit. Their average of what they need to drop token wise for summer swaps. So we're going to talk about all of that and more in today's video. If you're excited for upgrade packs like I am, hit the thumbs up and of course subscribe if you're new. Now let's talk about exactly that. Upgrade packs today. We remember what we had last week, but I think last week was a bit different. I don't think you're going to see the same upgrade packs this week that we had last week and here's why last week of course we had the 75 times 5 upgrade but i think the 75 times 5 was looped in with the 60 to 64 and the 71 to 74 upgrades that were all out because of that bronze select and silver select objective mode i think that these three kind of work together um you know as ea was getting us to play with bronzes and silvers and then you could rinse those and then again, you remember the requirements for the 75 plus, right? It was silver players to get this done. I would love to see the 75 plus times five come back today on Monday, but I really don't know if it is. It'd be very nice if they just say, hey, here you go. But in FIFA right now, the bronze select and the silver select mode expire today on Monday. So I would be honestly shocked to see that 75 times five come back because I feel like all those are related, but we would hope to see that again because that was a nice and cheap upgrade pack SBC and it was different right now what I do think we might see today is the 82 plus player pick I think they might one up themselves from last week and drop the 82 plus player pick this week and I really hope that they do that because those player picks were fire the last time that we had them I do think last time they were like I think it was six rares and 11 gold so if you want to get ahead of the game of course you can go out and collect um, or if you want to starting to, if you want to start investing a little bit or just preparing your club, you can go out and buy some gold rares. They're, they're literally still discard across the game. They're really cheap. Just buy them on bid for 600, 650 coins and then stock some non rares as well. That'd be a good way to get ready for upgrade packs today per usual, right? Nothing crazy with that. Um, but if again, maybe you buy an equal amount of those rares and non rares, if they do release an 82 plus player pick. And if they release the 81 plus again, then you just have a lot of non rares. Uh, you have an extra rares to go and put into that 81 plus player pick if you needed to. So I, I hope for an 82 plus today, 82 plus would be great. I think that'd be a, a step up from last week. Now, also, like I mentioned, as you guys might remember, we have been getting some sort of other gamble SBC on Mondays. Last week, it was the 85 plus player pick What's it going to be this week? I don't know. Last week, we also had the year in review player pick, which I think I did twice. Uh, and that goes away on Tuesday. So I don't know. I don't think we'll get another one of those today. That might be tomorrow if it's going to happen. Uh, but I do think that we would see some other sort of gamble pack today, whether it's the 85 plus player pick released again, whether it's some other sort of like 86 plus double or some other sort of pack like that. Hopefully we get a nice one. I don't think we have, again, like I mentioned, we have no leaks right now for another SBC player to be released. Lozano was the last leak that we had and we already had his SBC dropped. So unless we have a leak today on Monday morning, which could happen at the moment, it does not look like we have any leaked SBC players or any leaked content in general um, out there. One thing I was kind of like maybe waiting and hoping to see was pack code for a guaranteed team two 
Shapeshifters SBC, which, you know, I don't know if that's going to be dropping or not at all. I'm just kind of thinking out of my head here. Last week, we, of course, had that objective set and series where we could grind to get the uh, to get the guaranteed Team 1 Shapeshifters pack from the Daily Login Challenge, right? That was the objectives last week where we got that guaranteed Team 1 Shapeshifter. We don't even have a pack added to the code for a guaranteed Team 2, but if we see that soon... That will be another great type of SBC that EA could drop that would, um, or, or, you know, a pack code that EA could drop to tell us, hey, we're going to be seeing a guaranteed shapeshifter pack later on this week. I'd be excited for that. So we'll kind of follow that and see if anything happens with that later on this week. I don't think that'd be today on Monday. That'd be more of like a Wednesday, Thursday type thing if it was going to happen anyways. But as of right now, we have nothing regarding a guaranteed shapeshifter pack. It's probably just going to all start today with some sort of gamble pack. The, some sort of player pick i hope we get multiple upgrade packs you know like an 82 plus player pick and like maybe an 81 plus double pack or something maybe you know drop the 75 times 5 again ea sports prove me wrong and just drop it again that'd be fantastic but it's all about the upgrades today because let's just be honest regardless of what the upgrade packs are it's late june it's almost july the game is winding down we are in the summer months the summer content has been i would say officially on for like two weeks now we've been getting pretty good sbcs and pretty good pack content he has definitely stepped it up a bit with the crazy packs they've been putting out but there's so many sbcs to grind right now in the menus that's why i'm really excited for upgrade packs this week i want to do lozano i want to get the um fernandinho done i gotta get the moments player pick done i've already started it you know there's so many great players that are out i want to try to do maybe even rafael Guerrero. maybe i would think about crafting richarlison with extra fodder there's just a lot of great sbcs that i want to end up doing and if you haven't done any of the other great end of an eras yet maybe you, you still want to do like mark noble or you still want to do Di maria insigne chiellini you know there's still so many great sbcs in the menus right now to grind and craft so the, the menu grind this week should be pretty good. It all depends on today's upgrade packs, though, 100%. So speaking of upgrade packs and speaking of the grind in the menus, yesterday on Sunday, EA surprised us with a very good value icon SBC. Now, you see that I've done one of four squads here because right away when content dropped, I logged on to the companion app and saw that this said 86 rated squad, but the rating actually in here was 85 rated. So I was like, okay, let me get this done before EA fix it and make it 86 but it looks like they haven't been in a hurry to change anything regarding this. So I'm just chilling with one of my squads done for the 92 plus moments pick. But this SBC is coming as a nice change of pace to what we had for the past three weeks. And we talked about it in yesterday's video. Then the regular icon moments player pick, we had three weeks in a row. And the last two weeks, it costed almost a million coins because of fodder being so inflated and team of the season prices being so inflated. So now they drop one that is almost half the price, 550k, and they make it 92 plus, which really isn't that much better because, let's be honest, how many icon moments are less than 92 rated that you see popping up on player picks that often? Not that many. So it's basically just an icon moments player pick. It is 92 plus, but it's cheaper, and that's the W. That's why you see thumbs up here. People are, are about it. So I'm going to craft this this week. Again, it's the end of the game. We have coins. We're going to be doing these types of SBCs for sure to have some fun but i like that ea sports made it a bit cheaper and that was nice and of course the chuki lozano that they dropped yesterday he didn't get the five star skills which was a bit unfortunate but four star five star is still very good the stats that he got are honestly incredible really good upvote to downvote ratio here this is probably one of your best new strikers in the Serie A. if you like a player of this build very meta very ratty like we were saying lean body type five foot nine Great dribbling stats, great shooting stats. Going to be a fun card to use, and I absolutely want to get him done. So on, all in all, yesterday was really, really good content on the game. Now, with that good SBC content, of course, as you would expect, you've got SBC fodder that is rising up. But I want to take a look at a couple interesting things because here's an example. Let me let me take a look at an 85. Firmino is 8.8K. So yesterday, of course, when all the SBC content dropped, this stuff exploded. Firmino went from 9K to 13 Firmino is back down to 8.8K. Well, I think what happened here is we had all the demand happen right there. I think EA might have ran some late night Sunday lightning rounds. I didn't actually check to see if they did or not. I might have missed them uh, because I'm recording this a bit later than normal. But the, all of this fodder has dropped off a little bit in the past couple of hours. Same thing with 86s, right? 
That Icon Moments player pick, 92 plus, has got 85, 86, 87, and 88 rated squads. So the 86s are right in the middle of that. So they, of course, rise up the most from 13, 14K all the way to 18 for Jamie Vardy. He's right back down to 14,000 coins. So if you guys sold any of your fodder yesterday when it spiked in that short, you know, like one to two hour window, I mean, GG's. And I think right now, you know, with more content coming later on this week, I'm going to go out and club stock a few of these cards because, you know, I did a little bit of that yesterday, but these car these prices are almost back down to where they were um, when I was looking at them, you know, even on Saturday and even into uh, like Friday night a little bit. These prices are almost similar. So Scrinny R being like 14,000 coins after he was 19K yesterday as a center back, right? Center backs usually go a bit higher. I'm going to pick up a couple here for 13K. Like, that's crazy, man. So maybe today when you're looking at the market, check a few of these cards out because it might be worth your coins to either invest A or B, do a bit of a club stock on like the 84 to the 88 range. I think that's going to be your probably your range that is the most um, in demand and has potential to rise the most throughout the rest of this week with whatever content they would rise. But it's, it's just kind of like a no brainer. Like, okay, we're going to have more content come out this week just look at the past couple of weeks. So why would this stuff be falling? I think it's got to be some of the lightning rounds. They must have run some late night ones. Um, or or this stuff was maybe over-invested a little bit. But um, that moment's player pick was pretty good value. And I know a lot of people are doing it. So I'm going to go out and club stock a few of these cards right now. Maybe put throw a few on the transfer list just to have some extra fodder. Uh, maybe to sell and get a little bit of profit from later on this week. But I think it's kind of a no-brainer to try to do this right now. That's why I'm doing it for a little bit here in the video. And Diddy, 8.8, 8.9K. Okay, he's actually not. He's 9K though. I mean, this guy usually goes to like 12, 13 sometimes when 85s go like crazy. So club stock this stuff, man. Take a look at fodder. It did spike yesterday, but some of it's back down again. I think it's maybe another opportunity to reinvest for later on this week, or at least just stock your club to get ready um, to do more SBCs later on this week as EA dropped them. So that's kind of what I'll say about the whole fodder situation right now at the moment. I also want to take a look at shapeshifter prices from Team 2 because a lot of these cards continue to drop. Now, I snagged a, I bought El Shirawi two nights in a row now. I didn't sell him after yesterday, so I'm in the mud on a few of them because uh, he was like 370, right? But this El Shirawi was just 300,000 coins. He's starting to rebound back up. I'm buying a little bit late, but I think it's, it's a Monday, right? And Mondays normally have been the day where people get their weekly rewards. They go out. And maybe they buy some cards and they go and they try some cards out. I'm not expecting like every single shapeshifter today to really do like have to do bits and to rise up a lot um, after weekend league rewards. I think that's more more so a thing of the past. And especially if you're wanting to buy any of these cards for your team, I think that they will go lower later on this week. You think about the past couple of weeks, Ultimate Tots and Shapeshifters Team One had the same trend. They are, the cards actually went lower as the week went on because the content was so good. You had a couple of rises and falls in between there, but that's how I would expect it for this week uh, as well with these cards is you're probably going to see a couple fluctuations here and there. Maybe a few of them will go up today on Monday as people get their week in the rewards, want to go try a few of these cards out. But especially on Wednesday, if we get a really big player pick again, like a 93 plus tots or shapeshifter player pick like we had last week, I could see all of these cards dropping a little bit again. And, you know, especially if the content continues to be good throughout the week, sliding slowly down through the week, like we saw last week with Shapeshifters Team 1. So that's just kind of something to be careful with, I guess. But also, it's it's June. It's basically July. So if there's cards here that you want to buy for your team, then I'm not going to tell you to wait four or five days to use a card at this stage of the game. Just buy the card and use it. And if you lose a few coins it's probably okay. Just don't hold the card forever unless you really want to and it wants to be, it's part of your end game team. But if you're trying to buy any of these cards for an investment, if we take a look at Shapeshifters Team 1, what card has really gone up from this team as an investment out of packs? I mean, a bombing was like 240. He's 270. Shout out to the Adama Traore, probably helping him out a little bit. Kalulu is up like 20K. Spinazola is just chilling. Uh, St. Juice Day, I think was like 45K or something like that. He was 48K and now he, he was 65. So I guess maybe your your cheap guys are just the ones that are kind of crazy as well. So maybe guys from Team 2 that would do decent. I think Arnautovic could do decent just because his card is nuts. Um, I think that Tierney could be good as a prim center back. 
I think that Pereira card with five star skills is a cheap Serie left back that a lot of people like to use. So we'll continue to watch these cards as we go throughout the week. I might even throw Thiago Mendes in that mix as a Brazilian right back from League One. Those are links that we haven't had like all year for a League One right back that is Brazilian. We've had Klaus, we've had Akimi, but we haven't had a Brazilian, right? We've had Danny Alves, but not not a Brazilian in the League One for those links that are so very coveted in this game. So. You know, keep an eye on these cards throughout the week because I think there will be times where you can buy them up and trade with them and stuff like that. I'm not going to go too hard into it, uh, but I did buy an Adama because I want to try him out. And um, I, I also think that I might be able to make some coins on it. But there's like just this is a little bit of a June trading tip, I guess I would say. So I bought an Adama at 509, right? And I was taking a look at Adama's overnights. He's pretty rare to like 550, 560K, but it looks like somebody's got the same idea. And they think Adama is going to go up overnight because if I take a look at the listings and I say overnight, a lot of you guys are waking up and watching this video. Take a look at all these Adamas that are second owner, no games played, right? See all these third owner, no games played. All these are listed for like 550 to 560. So I know that there's like a wall of players there. So I'm realistically not expecting Adama to go more than 550K this morning. Sometimes if there's enough hype for a player, he will. Is this card really that hype for 500,000 coins? I, I don't I don't think he is. If he would have got five-star skills, I think it would have been more hype. 99 pace is really dope. 93 physical, 99 strength. I mean, this card does look really, really good, and he could be pretty hyped, but he's not in the Premier League anymore. That might hurt him out, hurt him a little bit, and uh, he didn't get the five skills, as I mentioned. So, you know, I think this card is a little overpriced as well. If you look at the rest of the Shapeshifters team, yeah, again, like I said, it's a cool card, but maybe a little overpriced. So we'll see if we can sell into any hype that is generated this morning as people go and try them out. But, you know, I wouldn't expect that rise to be lasting forever. Remember Jack Grealish last Monday was, um, I believe it was like 500,000 coins as well. And then eventually Grealish went down to like 400,000 coins flat and even under that a little bit. 430, 440 for Grealish? Yo, I might have to snag one of those. Hold up, let's check this really quick because that's pretty cheap. That is pretty cheap. You know what? Trading in June, you're about to witness it live on the YouTube video. 435. This guy was 480, 460. Yesterday, 460 to 470. I mean, we have 20K of tax here, so 25K of tax if I sell near near 500K. It looks like somebody else had the great idea too because the 435 Grealish is gone. But, you know, stuff like that, if you really want to try and make coins right now in this game, it's actually not very hard. It's it's very easy to be doing fluctuation trading methods out of pack special cards, which we preach all year long and say is the best way to make quick flip profits on, on cards. Team of the season cards are incredible flips. The out of packs cards, if you're trying to grind the market right now, those icon moments, any anything that is, it's still relatively meta, but specifically team of the season cards out of packs, and maybe some of your other uh, special cards from other promos, uh, like shapeshift, not shapeshifters, like uh, future stars, foot birthday, those types of items are just they're just forgotten about, and they fluctuate a lot because there's still people out there that are that are flipping them. So that's one thing to keep in mind of if you're trying to make coins right now. Now, last thing I'll talk about today is the summer swaps tokens. I actually, I have two things really quick to talk about. Summer swap token tracker. We are on four tokens. The first one or the second one, technically, an SBC is expiring. EA has got to fix up. I don't know how they're going to drop tokens today, but they need to fix up because we need to average between one and two a day. And right now, uh, we're heading into the fourth day and we have four tokens. So they're they're on the low end of the average. They're already falling behind the curve a little bit. They need to uh, step it up and start releasing these swap tokens. So we'll see if they do that today and maybe in, somehow incorporate that with an upgrade pack, I don't know. Uh, the other thing that I wanted to talk about actually comes in with pack code. I know that we looked at this in the past couple of days, but we have not seen these packs yet. Here's one of them. A supercharge pack contains 10 gold rare players, 80 plus with a player pick between four tots. And 80 plus times 10, that to me sounds like a store pack right there, but there was another one. Yes, the untradeable campaign mix player pack. I don't know when this is gonna drop, but since it was added into the code for like this week, I feel like it's going to be pretty soon. And if you if this pack has already dropped and I missed it, then let me know. But this is kind of like a year in review type pack, but also not quite because it's from cards that were in packs and not SBCs. 
I think we might see this later on this week. That's all I'm going to say. So just keep just keep those two packs in your memory because at some point this week, they might make for some really, really good SBC content if EA price it correctly. Ooh, 432 for Grealish. Don't mind if I do. 436. Don't mind if I do. Trading in, we'll just say September. How about that? Trading in September with TFA at the moment. There we go, Jack Grealish. Let's go. It's coming home. So that's going to be the video for today, boys. What we're really excited about is the upgrade packs. Hopefully, eSports drop us a little 82 plus goodness, maybe make it a little bit cheaper. And then we'd love it if they drop some other sort of upgrade pack too. Just give us all the upgrade packs. Yeah, come on now. It's it's June. It's July. Drop us all of the packs. So if you're excited for upgrade packs today, once again, hit the thumbs up on the video. Comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe if you're new. It's been Nathan Foot Account and I'll catch you guys later. Peace.